Hi everyone, my name is Jenna and I am the nonprofit advocate here at DonorBox. And um, today I'm joined by Jimmy and he's one of our product managers here at DonorBox. And for those of you who may not be familiar with DonorBox, we provide nonprofits with simple and effective tools to manage their fundraising activities and connect with their donors or potential donors on a deeper level. We truly believe that organizations should not face technology barriers when it comes to helping others. This is just kind of a no-brainer. So today we have helped 50,000 organizations raise over $1 billion. Uh, to learn more, you can visit us on our site at donorbox.org. And before we really dive in, I do want to note that the session will probably be about 40, 45 minutes long with plenty of time allotted at the end for live Q&A. Um, please feel free to drop questions in the chat box throughout the session. And our account manager, Bobby Joe, is behind the scenes. Hi guys, I think um, Jenna got frozen, but it's okay. Um, we'll give her a minute while she comes back. Oh, uh -oh. yes, oh, can you hear okay, me hear you again now, Jenna. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, it seems like my internet just decides to go on the fritz um, uh, on the most convenient, inconvenient times. Uh, so thanks for bearing with me. Um, so I do want to note uh, the session is being recorded and all registrants will receive the recording, the slide deck, and all of the resources we mentioned today via email tomorrow. So don't worry, we have got you covered. And if for some reason I cut out again, uh, you can always refer back to that recording. Um, and today I am so excited to talk about how you can bring in money quickly and continuously for your nonprofit with text to give So here is what we will cover today. How mobile giving can impact your mission. Um, and then Jimmy will walk us through a live donor box text to give demo to help you get started. And uh, we will talk about some tips on engaging donors through your text to give program, which is really pretty easy. And then we'll dive into that live Q and A. So before we get started, naturally, I have got a poll question for you guys, and I'm gonna go ahead and launch it now. Do you currently have a mobile giving program? Uh, yes. Maybe not yet, um, because the answer should never be no, um, not yet, or what even is mobile giving? Um, so we'll dive into that. Um, I'll give you just a few seconds to go ahead, uh, go ahead and answer. And um, Jimmy, it's looking like um, majority right now, they're saying not yet, no mobile giving program. Um, so I'm really excited for you guys to um, jump on the mobile giving train, the text to give train, um, and learn more um, about how great this can be for you. So I'm actually surprised by these results, about 78% saying um, they don't have one yet. So this is, uh, this is great. Thank you guys for that. And so did you know that the average smartphone user spends around three hours a day on their phone? Like three hours a day. Um, that's a lot of time, and I have to admit, I'm guilty of this too. I'm always on my phone, whether it be for work, personal things, browsing through the news. Um, but this doesn't have to be a negative thing. There, that creates a lot of opportunity for interested donors to give to your fundraising campaign. Uh, having the right tools to collect mobile donations easily and efficiently is vital for any fundraising. Uh, so, if you asked, what exactly is mobile giving? Um, well, mobile giving refers to the ability of your donors to give to your campaign on a variety of mobile devices. This could be mobile donation pages, text to give fundraising, giving with mobile digital wallets like Apple Pay, Google Pay, Venmo, um, and also mobile kiosks. These are all examples of mobile giving. but both mobile giving and online giving, they take place online. So this distinction can be confusing for some people. Um, and the important distinction here is that mobile giving is done on some sort of mobile device, um, be it a smartphone or a tablet, as opposed to uh, on a computer, right? So although online giving has been and will continue to grow and grow and grow and grow to be more important throughout the years, um, 
mobile giving is also on a very sharp rise um, because now that our lives are virtual more than ever, um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna continue to see that growth in mobile giving. So you're here probably because you're asking yourself, how can mobile giving impact my mission? How can it help my organization? And the answer is simple. Um, by utilizing mobile giving, your organization will be able to increase donations and, over re uh, and um, overall revenue. And, and that's because you're offering a channel that people use every day and you can reach donors in a place where they're the most comfortable. So um, we're constantly checking on our phones and tablets to stay on top of everything for work to family, to the latest news. Um, like I said, I'm doing this all the time. And 91% um, of American adults own a smartphone, um, according to BlackBot. So if your nonprofit isn't taking advantage of mobile giving options, you're likely missing out on big donations. Um, it gives donors an easy way to give back at almost any time, day or night. And um, today's culture is one of immediacy, right? Um, people expect things to happen quickly and easily. And um, if they don't, they lose patience. So um, mobile donations offers this convenience um, with just a few clicks on a device and um, they already have it in their hands. So um, just like everything, I love to give stats to back up these claims, right? Um, here are some interesting facts and statistics to keep in mind um, when deciding on how important mobile fundraising can be for your organization. So last year, 28% uh, of online donations came through mobile devices. That's a pretty big percentage. Um, $42 is the average donation amount given through mobile devices. And the number of transactions comp completed through mobile devices has increased up to 50%. And 84% of mobile donation pledges are fulfilled. That's a really good conversion rate, um, I think. And beyond just visiting your website and social media pages, donors respond well to text messages. This is very clearly seen. 49% um, of mobile donation pledges come from text links. And 54% of nonprofit email messages are read on email. So I threw this one in just to further um, show that folks are already on their phones. So this is a good place to reach them where they are. Um, and who here else is guilty of just reading all their emails on their phone? Um, I, I think most of my emails I look at through my phone. So decided to throw that one in there. So this is why text to give is so powerful. In the past year alone, mobile giving donations have majorly increased, as I just said. And so it comes as no surprise uh, that more and more nonprofits are exploring text to give as a way to empower people to donate. Texting has become one of the most popular forms of communication in recent years, right? Um, this type of instant communication leaves our donors feeling engaged and fulfilled, knowing that their donation matters immediately. And this sense of fulfillment can get lost when donations come through other platforms or other channels, whether it be giving cash or even through those Facebook fundraisers, right? Um, so text to give is exactly what it sounds like. It's a way for donors to donate to your mission through a text message on their mobile phones. And it's super quick and easy, just as it's quick and easy to send a text message to a friend. So text to give campaigns involve a campaign ID um, that donors text to a specified number. From there, they receive a link to a mobile friendly donation form where they can select an amount that they wanna donate they fill out their info and make a donation directly to their nonprofit. It really is very easy. So if you're sitting here and you're wondering, can I use text to give Is this relevant to me? Is this relevant to my organization? Um, the answer is yes. Um, all nonprofits can use text to give All organizations can use text to give uh, Some examples here are churches, emergency relief organizations, schools. Um, we also see a lot of this with political camp, political campaigns. 
Um, text to give works well for small and large organizations. So really, um, it really is a great apply to all fundraising method. And in mere minutes, nonprofits can create effective text to give campaigns that encourage more gifts and strengthen those donor relationships. Um, and there are, I think, eight big reasons why text to give should be a part of your organization strategy. So um, if you've been on the fence about using text to give or you're not really sure of all the benefits, um, I'm hoping that some of these points will encourage you and um, help you think a little bit more critically um, about why this is so great for your donors. So first of all, um, text to give offers speed and convenience. I've said this so many times already. Um, all donors need to make a donation via text to give is a smartphone, right? Um, nonprofits can send a quick appeal in less than a minute and donors can donate in the same amount of time. And text to give also provides an immediate call to action. So are you holding an event or are you raising funds for emergency use following a disaster? Um, your donors are a captivated audience and ready to give right now. So by offering text to give, you're catching your donors in a moment um, with a quick and simple way to support your mission. And it's safe and easy. Um, donating by text is one of the easiest and safest ways to give in today's world. Uh, donors, again, receive a link to your donation form sent straight to their phone. And all they have to do is click to make a secure donation. And um, I love this point. I'm definitely one of these people. Um, people don't really carry cash and checks anymore, let's be honest. Um, so text to give removes that excuse of, I don't have any cash on me, sorry, especially when you're an in-person event and maybe you're soliciting for donations, making that big ask. Um, you just think, oh, well, that's fine. We have a test to give number, right? You're eliminating that barrier. And as long as your donors have a smartphone, and again, most of them do, they already have everything they need to make a gift right at their fingertips. So again, um, this is just further eliminating these barriers between you and your donor's ability to give. And my screen just froze. Um, Y'all, can you still hear and see me? Yes. Can you give me a thumbs up if you can? All right. And, okay, oh, we are back. <laughs> Sorry about that, you guys. And um, again, what text to give brand exposure is included. So donors that click your text link will be immediately transferred to your online donation form. So not only will they receive a positive donor experience through your mobile optimized form, um, but they'll also be seeing your branding your story and your mission as it's presented on your website, which is really great. You're just reinforcing your presence there. And donors give more with text to give. It's really pretty incredible. Um, cash gifts are limited to the amount donors have on hand, right? Um, and with text to give, your donors can give as much as they want, whenever they want. Uh, and in fact, uh, the average text to give donation is a hundred and seven um dollars so that's uh, that's a pretty nice amount i'd say and uh this is a really important one as well text to give gives accurate and updated donor information because donors who give via text use your online donation form you collect that information um, instantly and can therefore continue building a relationship long after that gift is made so you get to um add them into your list and make sure that you're nurturing those donor relationships um, beyond just a one-time donation. Uh, this is really, really important and not something that you get with, um, again, like those Facebook fundraisers or um, those cash donations. You don't want to have someone hand you a check for 20 bucks at an event and then lose contact with them, uh, lose contact with them, right? Um, so that's really wonderful. And last but not least, um, it encourages recurring donations. Recurring donations, this is what every organization wants. This is uh, dependable um, income month to month, which is really great. Um, and when donating is easy, your donors are more likely to give again and again. If it's a cumbersome process, they may not be um, inclined to do so. 
So um, donor boxes repeat feature allows donate, uh, nonprofits to send a thank you text and um, request a second gift. Um, and with a simple reply, donors can give the same amount without filling out the form again. And jo uh, Jimmy's gonna show us that in uh, just a little bit. So um, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and launch a handout uh, with these text to give essentials. So go ahead and grab that and um, take a look. So with that being said, um, text to give really can be an easy donation process for both you and your donors. And with the right platform, of course, like DonorVox, um, it's really simple accept donations and those repeat donations um, as, as easy it is to send a text to your friend. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass it over to Jimmy to um, walk all of you through how text to give works and um, what that user experience looks like. Okay. And Jimmy, you can go ahead Thank and share you, your screen. Hey everyone, so I'll go ahead and share my screen. So we're gonna do a demonstration of text to give from both the supporters perspective and organizations. So it's a bit tricky to try and um, share screen from a mobile device. So we'll, you, we'll be using an online messaging app to simulate a text message from a phone, from a smartphone. And so the first thing is I'll demonstrate is how do we activate text to give for your organization? So you log into DonorBox and then you navigate to the add-on section on the left sidebar and then scroll down and click on text to give. And from here, you can see information regarding text to give. And there are two plans concerning text to give. We have the basic plan and the short code plan. Now, the basic plan gives you access to a long code, which is the 1855 number. And anyone from within the United States and Canada can text to it and receive a reply. And it has unlimited text and it works for any all of your campaigns pretty much then we have the short code plan so it includes everything in the basic plan and gives you access to the 801 801 short code so what this means that your supporters can send a text to 801 801 instead of trying to remember the longer number of 1855 and one of the unique features of the short code plan is you'll be able to create a custom keyword and assign it, assign it to one of your campaigns. Now your custom keyword can be your call to action, uh, it can be related to your branding, or it can be a very popular keyword like vote or donate. And this short code plan costs $50 a month. So once you activate um, text to give if you go to your campaigns page, oops, sorry, you'll be able to see there's a text to give campaign ID assigned to every one of your campaigns. So this ID is what you will share with your supporters in your campaigns and they will send a text message uh, of that campaign ID to the text to give number. Now we're gonna do a real um, donation to an actual campaign. So this is a uh, Northwest Scouts, and they have set up their uh, text to give campaign. And their keyword is NW Scouts, and it leads to the Friends of Scouting 2022 campaign. So, this is the messaging app we're going to try and simulate uh, from the supporters' pers perspective. Um, give me one second. I can okay. hear you fine, Jimmy. Um, all I apologize. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drop something in the chat to maybe help you with the technical side of Demio. Um, it helps that if you're on Chrome. And um, Bobby Joe's going to go ahead and send uh, a, a message to help you work through those audio problems. Sure. Um, uh, try to close all of your browsers and um, make sure you're on, on um, Chrome. That tends to help a lot. Um, so I'm saying this to people who can't hear, <laughs> but th thanks Bobby Joe for dropping that into the chat. Go ahead, Jimmy, take it away. So this is a messaging app I'll use for demonstration. We'll start a text one eight five 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 seven five seven eight eight eight. So because we're using an online messaging app, there are some limitations. So we can only sh demonstrate um, sending the text to give with the long code. But if your supporters are using an actual real phone number, they can send it to the short code if, they, if your organization has the short code enabled. And we'll send it, the campaign ID we have is 281353. And then 
they'll be able to get a uh, response back with the link to your campaign. Now, because NW Scouts, the organization has the short, um, they are on the short code plan, that means they have a custom keyword, which is the name of the organization. So if the supporters simply type in the custom keyword, they also get a link back to the campaign. So after clicking on the link, they'll be, they'll be brought to the your, um, fundraising page and then they'll fill out the form. And one of the unique features of text to give is there'll be an additional option that says save my information for future donations. So what this means that if they enable this option, they will be able to repeat the donation just using text. They do not need to fill out the information again. So it works similarly like a quick checkout. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a real donation and then on my phone, and then you'll be able to see the actual response on this page. And while Jimmy is filling this out, um, it should only take um, a few seconds, and that's the beauty of the DonorBox donation forms. Uh, it really is just a few simple fields. Um, but while Jimmy is doing that on his phone, um, I actually wanna know um, if anybody in the audience, and you can drop this in the chat, um, has experience using text to give um, with either with DonorBox or another provider. And if it was another provider, um, who it was and what was, um, your favorite part about that, or what was your least favorite part about that? Um, we are always um, growing what we offer our users, and we want to make sure that you're having the best user experience. Um, and DonorBox Text to Give really was made with you in mind. So um, feel free to chime into the chat. Um, I see Patrick has used Give Lively and Kindful before. Um, Deanna, QR code giving. QR codes are great as well. Awesome. Um, Susan has used DonorBox Text to Give and she's found it very easy to use. All right, Jimmy, how's that donation uh, so coming? So the donation has been completed and I still see the thank you page. So right now we're just waiting to hear the response back on the Text to Give number. Excellent. And see how quick and easy that was for him to fill out, you guys. So then we will see um, that response back on the screen here in just a minute. And thank you for everyone um, chiming into the chat. Um, we really appreciate your insights as always. So here, um, as you can see on the screen, you get a thank you receipt after making a donation. And there is a line that says, if you'd like to donate the same amount again in the future, simply reply yes. So this is, we'll go ahead and repeat, make a repeat donation by replying yes. And then we need to confirm it. So um, to actually give, know that the supporter wants to go ahead with repeating the, the donation. And that's it. So I, may, I was able to repeat donation, make a second donation based on the previous donation without filling out the donation form again. So yeah, and that's it for this demonstration. Thank you, Jimmy. Um, we actually have a question in the crowd. Um, could, would it be possible for you to show what it would look like to change the donation so amount? The ability to change the donation amount is something we're actively working on right now. But if you want to make a, a donation a different amount right now, you have to go through filling out the donation form again. But we do have another feature called the donor portal that the supporters can log in and make a custom donation from there. So because after they make a donation and they save their information to their profile, they can log into the donor portal and make a donation from within the donor portal without filling any of the donation form again. They can just simply change the amount. But um, this feature is, is quite different from text to give so we won't dive into it, to it just yet. Excellent. Thank you so much for that. And all um, I know that you're all asking for the recording, so you can refer back to this for reference. But I'm also going to go ahead and launch a link on how to set up text to give with DonorBox um, so that you can favorite this um, in your uh, browser's toolbar, tool, uh, your bookmarks. Uh, so go ahead and click that and favorite.
as well. And I know we have a lot of questions coming in and um, we're gonna move on to our, our next segment, Jimmy, um, but um, feel free to answer the, these questions in the chat and we'll also get to your questions um, during the live Q&A in just a few minutes. So um, thank you for that, that was a great demo. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring up the presentation again. So uh, I do wanna reiterate, um, because we um, like to be as transparent as possible with our pricing on all fronts. Um, what Jimmy said here, here are the pricings for the basic and short code plan. Um, of course, the number one question is, this sounds great, but what is it gonna cost? So here it is. Um, both plans are very affordable, very cost effective. Our goal here was to make sure that this is accessible to nonprofits of all budgets and all sizes. So with the basic plan, this is available in the US and Canada. You do get that toll free number that donors can text and you have unlimited campaigns with this um, for $19 a month. And then with the short code plan that is available in the US, um, donors can text the 801-801 number um, and you get to choose a custom keyword for each one of your campaigns which is also limited so um, that's a really nice feature for fifty dollars a month and i also want to highlight some text to give success stories um, one of the best ways to show how impactful text to give can be for your organization is to highlight these um, organizations that have seen great success and hopefully will inspire you in your own fundraising efforts. So I'm gonna highlight a few of those here. Uh, so first one up is the Sanctuary Global. Um, they are an online and offline social ministry collective um, and their mission is to spread gospel around the globe. So they've got an app, they've got a web platform and they've got their uh, in-person, I guess, cohorts. Um, and they have raised almost $30,000 through text to give and this is coming um, to an average of $67 in average donation from 441 donors. Um, so this is a really great example of um, how an organization can engage their community if most of them are online, right? Um, I think that a lot of nonprofits find it difficult to engage people, especially when we're still in this very virtual space and text to give is a really great way to do that. And this is a really good example of that. And then uh, the next one, which uh, Jimmy just did a demo with, is uh, Boy Scouts of America. So actually they're, they've raised a little bit more than this because we just donated here. Um, but um, you may recognize this organization. Um, they have a great mission to um, prepare youth to make ethical and moral choices over the course of their lifetimes. Um, and the Inland Northwest Council of Boy Scouts of America um, has, um, an animal fundraising campaign that generates income to sustain operations in three local scout centers and three camp properties. So this is a really big campaign for them. And during this campaign, um, they have raised so far um, over $23,000 um, contributing to nearly $45,000 in gross donations. So over half of their donations here um, have come from text to give That's um, pretty incredible. And another here, and this is um, an organization that's been on our radar for a while, doing great things. Uh, Maya's Hope, um, they work to improve the quality of life of orphaned, impoverished, and special needs children on a global scale. And they launched a Ukraine emergency fund, and um, uh, I guess it was last month, and have collected um, over $17,000 in donations from text to give um, which is contributing to an overall total of $426,000 in donations through the DonorBox platform. So they are engaging their supporters on all levels through um, many different campaign uses and they've added text to give to um, further add on to that total. So um, I wanted to highlight this one because this is a really great use case for um, emergency relief campaigns, things that need to be turned around really quickly. And um, just a couple more for you. Lighthouse for Students, um, I love this mission. They seek to provide uh, programs for at-risk youth and help them make the right choices and help illuminate a pathway that leads to positive outcomes. Uh, so they launched a general campaign to support the mission of Lighthouse for Students and have raised 
over $12,000 through text to give contributing to a total of $14,000 in donations. So um, most of their donations came through text to give for this campaign so far. And their average donation was around $343 from 37 donors. So um, could you imagine if your donors um, on average gave $343? That's um, an, amazing, uh, an amazing impact that these people are having. And finally, um, Live Thrive. Um, Live Thrive is actually an Atlanta-based nonprofit. Um, so shout out to my Atlantans on the call. Um, they have been working since 2010 to create a community that cares about a healthy and sustainable environment. Um, they actually started as a blog, uh, which is pretty cool, but they launched a campaign to fund a physical location, a new location being built this year. And they have raised $10,900 through Text to Give, um, so far contributing to a total of $52,000 in donations for the overall campaign. So a fifth of their donations are coming from Text to Give um, with an average of $330 um, from 33 donors. Um, so again, um, a really great use case here. Um, and now I chose these organizations um, because I wanted to highlight today that we have organizations from all different types of sectors and with different missions and all sorts of sizes um, uh, so that maybe you can find one of these that you identify with um, so that you can see a youth use case that um, would be relevant to you. And um, I, I hope that uh, just may inspire you. And it really can be an amazing fundraising tool for nonprofits. So um, with that, I do want to jump into some text to give best practices. And this is what I promised at the beginning of the webinar. Uh, so of course, the most important part of using text to give is making sure that it's working for your organization, right? And you're not working too hard to, to get it to work for you. Um, and with the right tips and a little practice, you can see success with, with it, um, really great success. So here are a few best practices that I took away from um, analyzing the success stories that I just highlighted above. So before you decide to launch a text to give campaign, uh, it's important to mobile optimize your website, right? And maybe I'm preaching to the choir here, but um, with the majority of people now accessing the internet through mobile devices, ensuring your domain page is optimized for mobile is absolutely crucial, right? The fact of the matter is if your donation page doesn't work on mobile, it like just doesn't work, period. It really should be working on mobile. So when it comes to optimizing your donation page for mobile phones, tablets, consider using a responsive theme or template that automatically adjusts and optimizes your images, text, or other content so that it displays correctly on any device. Um, and if you have WordPress or Wix or something like that, there are a lot of free and paid responsive themes available through those platforms. Um, and you can also use a tool like Google's mobile friendly test tool to verify that your page looks good on all screen sizes. So I went ahead and queued up that link for you. Um, go ahead, if you're not sure if your website is mobile friendly, um, go ahead and click this link. You um, copy and paste your URL into this and it will um, let you know how you're doing in that realm. Um, and as with all fundraising, mobile optimized donation uh, require attention to detail um, when it comes to designing and copywriting, um, but at the core, they should be easy for donors to interact with, right? So maximize the donor experience and your conversion rates um, by minimizing required fields. Um, and you can do that very easily on our forms and avoid cramming your page with unnecessary design elements. Less is really more, especially when you're thinking about optimizing. Um, for mobile. So I actually went ahead and embed, embedded a picture from one of our organizations, Black Girl Code, uh, Black Girls Co Code, um, in this picture here. They do a really nice job with their mobile optimization. Really clean. You see you've got some text above, a uh, call to action button, and a really impactful image. Um, but with this, um, this leads me to, obviously, you have a customized mobile optimized website and donation page. Your donation form also needs to be that. So you should customize your 
Um, and brand your mobile responsive donation pages with logos, inspiring stories from beneficiaries, text fields um, about the impact of the gifts and gifts amounts. And this is where your donation tiers will come in on your donation form um, so that you will feel both, you, you'll encourage more gifts and truly make a difference um, for those people who are wanting to donate because they want to see that impact right there on your form. How much will $10 do for your organization? How much will $100 do? Um, and then you can also further brand your donation form to um, your organization's colors, right? And um, collect important information. So um, if you're mobile optimizing, uh, you should be doing this for your form as well. And of course, if you're already a donor box user, um, shout out to our users today, um, creating a beautiful, functional, and impactful donation form um, is really easy. And if you're not yet a donor box user, you can very easily sign up um, for free um, to create those forms. So the next point, if you already have mobile optimized pages and forms, yes, this is great. You can skip to this next thing here. Um, you wanna use simple keywords in your text to give. Um, simplicity is everything. Um, the customized keyword or campaign ID that your donors will use to donate um, and the number they text it to should be short and easy to remember. Um, the longer or the more complex a code, the more likely your donors will forget it or abandon the process, right? So um, be as specific as possible. Um, if you are an organization that leads ocean cleanups, uh, have your keyword be ocean. Um, if you are um, empowering people, maybe the word ability. Um, if you um, are a domestic violence shelter and you're having a Mother's Day brunch and you're fundraising for that, um, code word can be mothers. Um, it, make sure that your code is really relevant to your mission. Uh, your keyword is really relevant to your mission and your campaign. And if you plan on running multiple text to give campaigns at once, which we do see um, a lot or throughout the year, use a keyword that's relevant um, to each of those, so folks don't get those mixed up, right? So with the donor box basic plan, um, we'll automatically um, assign a short, easy to remember um, numbered campaign ID for you, as Jimmy showed, and um, your donors can use our uh, toll-free number to text. And if you purchase a short, short code plan, you can select an unlimited number of custom keywords and use our um, 801-801 short code number, which is really great. Um, another one of my favorite tips is to combine your text to give with other fundraising methods. Uh, so do you already have fundraising methods that work well for you? So you're not sure if text to give is really needed, right? Um, well, you can really give them a boost with text to give and watch those donations come in. For example, uh, you can pair text to give with fundraising events, to capitalize on the excitement and urgency you created by those in-person interactions. So galas, marathons, walkathons, challenges, concerts, whatever that may be. Um, you can have that text to give short code or keyword displayed on a screen um, during these events or on posters, pamphlets, um, those types of things um, so that people can easily see them and access them. And this is also a great solution versus those QR codes because um, not everybody will be able to take a picture from really far away of those QR codes, or um, you can just reach more folks in that way. Um, and you can also, um, I did see some folks representing some churches um, in the audience today. So this is a really great option um, to offer during um, offering time, in addition to the traditional uh, passing of the offering plate. So you can put that up on your screen and encourage your um, congregation to contribute that way. And um, you should also be sharing your text to give information with your peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers. Peer-to-peer um, -peer is one of my most favorite methods of fundraising um, and adding text to give to that really just brings it to a whole nother level um, so that your peers can um, offer their friends and family an easy way to give as well. And um, it, this just offers multiple ways for people to give and they can pick the right method that's right for them, right? Um, we're all about empowering our donors with meeting them um, what's with what's most comfortable for them. And um, this one kind of goes hand in hand, just as important as it is for you to combine text to give with other fundraising methods. Uh, but it can also be, it's vital to promote your text to give throughout multiple different 
channels, right? Your campaign cannot succeed unless people know about it, right? Um, and it often takes seven to 12. Can you believe it? Seven to 12 touch points from different angles before someone makes a gift. Um, so put together a social media and marketing plan. It could be really simple um, to promote your campaign and then create momentum by getting the word out and include all of your text to give details on promotional materials on your website um, and any advertising that runs for the campaign. So um, actually you see this example on the screen here. This is an organization um, and I just I dropped this into um, an image. This was a great online banner that, that they use to promote um, their donor box text to give campaign. Um, and you can also, this is great. You can also ask your board to include your text to give um, information in all of their email signatures and display it pom prominently on your social media, um, your direct mail outreach. So if you're sending direct mail, this is a great way to capture that audience and even on collateral like shirts and mugs and pens, right? Again, um, bless you, Jimmy. <laughs> I didn't hear you, but I could see you. Um, so uh, if, you, if you do have swag for your organization, um, instead of just putting your website with, uh, you know, something.org slash donate, um, you can add in that text to give information so that it's really easy to access. Um, so this was a very high level overview. And again, this is kind of what I gleaned from the success stories that I showed you um, just a few minutes ago, but I'm gonna go ahead and launch our text to give fundraising ultimate guide um, so that you can take a deeper dive into these tips and best practices. There are um, a lot of things um, to, uh, uh, to consider when doing text to give, but all these are very easily implemented and it just takes a little bit of, um, a little bit of uh, promotion and marketing to get it going. So that's it, you guys. Um, these are just the basics of text to give fundraising, the what, the why, the who, the how, and um, text to give truly is the gift that keeps on giving you around. You really can have this going all the time. Um, and it's super easy, efficient, and convenient for you and your most passionate supporters. So um, go ahead and make giving on the go easy for your supporters and really encouraging you here so you can empower spontaneous and easily repeated donations anywhere at any time. Um, I'm going to launch the link. Um, that is not queued up. So give me a second here. I'm gonna go ahead and launch the link to uh, donor box text to give our landing page. And you will also be redirected to our landing page um, after the session ends. And um, again, if you are not a donor box user, you can sign up for free and um, uh, enable text to give very easily as well. So, um, all right, we have a lot of questions. I think um, there's a lot of action in the chat I was, as I was talking there. Um, we're gonna go ahead and see if there's anything else we need to address um, in the Q&A. You ready, Jimmy? Mm, yep. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so let's see here. I'm gonna start at the top. Um, I like this question from Charles, and let me know if you've already answered some of these, Jimmy. I saw you were pretty busy in the chat there. Uh, so can donors use digital, a digital wallet on the text to give platform um, if they don't carry it? Uh, yes, card? so once they open up the page, and if the page detects they have the digital wallet set up, it will appear as one of a payment option. Perfect. Awesome. And um, let's see what else we got going here. Um, are there any surcharges to clients that utilize this depending on their geographic? That location? would depend on the service provider, the mobile service provider. But if they are on the plan that has unlimited text uh, send and received, then there'll be no additional surcharges for them. Perfect. Thank you. So um, how would you monitor this activity with text to give if you're working on behalf of a charitable organization? So we can, you'll be able to filter out donations based on whether it came from text to give or not. 
And from there, you can see all the donations and the supporter information related to text to give Excellent. It's just that easy, Rick. Um, and do we need anything special to integrate text to give with our automated recurring giving? So via donor the box? recurring giving via donor box is quite different. It's, it's different from what we say repeat donation for text to give. So when you when you say recurring donation, it's on a fixed monthly or yearly basis on a fixed time schedule. You the supporters can still set up recurring donations um, using text to give method. But if they want to make a repeat donation using text to give, basically repeat donation means that they can repeat that last donation anytime they want um, on their mobile phone with just um, a simple text. Um, there is no fixed time schedule for that. So it's up to the supporter when they want to repeat the donation. Thank you for that distinction. Um, and I think this might be a big question for a lot of folks. Can charities from the UK or any other nations set up text Actually, to give? we're in the middle of beta testing UK text to give number. Um, so, Charmaine, if you want to reach out to me, I can um, get you involved with that beta test with text to give in the Uni uh, United Kingdom. So, you can reach out to me at jimmy at donorbox.org. So, yeah, send me an email and then we'll get it set up for you. Excellent. Great news. And um, you can talk a little bit on this, Jimmy. Are there payment fees in addition to the so monthly charge? So the only additional charge is the monthly add-on fee, which is $19 or $50. Um, there's no increase in the processing fee that's different from the regular processes, processing fee for um, normal donations. Perfect. And can you confirm the processing fee for um, as well? It depends. So I think we offer either 1.5% or 1.9%, depending on the organization. Perfect. And um, from Paula, um, do donors get text reminders asking if, if, if they would like to read no, their donation? No, um, we do not send out text to phone numbers unless the supporters initiate the first contact. So they send a text, we send a reply, they make a donation, we send a confirmation. Um, because we, we designed this not to be a marketing tool due to regulations and guidelines. So we will never send out a unsolicited, unsolicited text first. Perfect, thank you. And um, this will probably um, move into Stacy's question as well about obtaining your donor's numbers. Um, so uh, can you talk a little bit about um, what information? So because um, we do not initiate first contact, um, there's no reason in, in, in the context of text to give to have phone numbers because the supporters need to send the text first from their side. So you don't need to collect their phone numbers. But if you're talking about in general, then um, when you make a donation form, you can have the uh, phone number field. But but then again, it's up to the supporters whether they want to uh, fill it up fill it up or not, it depends, depending on the comfort level. Yep, absolutely. Um, so Stacy, you can add that field into your donor box donation form um, if that's information that you want to collect. Um, and I say that's nice because then you can give your donors a phone call. Um, thanks for that, Jimmy. Um, and uh, this is from Stan. Will this be offered again? Um, maybe in the near future, but we will have a recording of this um, webinar, Stan. So keep an eye out in your email. Um, and um, you can watch this as many times as you like um, in the community on our or on our donor box YouTube channel. Um, great question from Deirdre. Um, what if donors are international? Most of our donors are in the EU. So this is something we're figuring out uh, right now. Um, we started a beta test in the UK and we are still trying to understand how the different um, tax providers, service providers for, your, for the mobile devices interact with different uh, countries uh, within in EU. So, um, so right now we're just working on UK and there's no timeline on when we will expand tax to give in other countries. Thank you for that. And from Donna, rapid fire, Jimmy, how are you doing over there? 
You're such a champ. Um, so from Donna, um, does a repeat text donation connect automatically to different campaigns with different custom no. keywords? Um, there's only one custom keyword being offered right now tied to one campaign. And the repeat donation is based on that number's last donation. So a user can donate to multiple campaigns if they wish to. And when they try to do a repeat donation, it will be based on the last donation they made. Excellent, Donna. Um, let us know if that answered it but, for you. Um, just to expand and, on that, um, we do have a different feature called the donor portal. So if that user want to make a repeat donation using the donor portal, so they have to log into the website, um, then they'll be able to choose which campaigns they want to make a repeat donation to. Excellent, thank you. Um, do charities need to sign up for a specified time period or is this there's no contract so you can activate and deactivate anytime you wish it is billed per month and from the first to the 30th so if you activate it on the 20th it is built prorated so we will only bill you for 20th to the end of the month Thank you for that. Um, and I think that's a really nice feature. Um, you can try it out. If you know you have a big campaign coming up, you can uh, add it on for the month. If it's just a couple of weeks, you can do that as well. Um, uh, we offer a lot of flexibility here, um, but once you try it, you'll probably want it for many, many months. Uh, thank you for that. And um, from Rebecca, um, this is an interesting one. Rebecca, I may need you to elaborate here. We're currently using text to give spelled differently um, from text to give. Um, this is different from text to give, correct? Um, Rebecca, I'm not sure I know what you mean. Um, Jimmy, maybe. Um, we only offer one kind of text to give. So if you're yeah. talking about donor box text to give, then they would be the same thing. Yeah. And sometimes you will re see our text to give referred to as T2G if we're trying to be cool and cheeky. Um, it's all the same service um, and we'll do our best to be consistent there. Um, let's see if we've got any more. These were some really great questions and I know we have some folks logging off. Um, let's see. Oh, here, we've got another one from Mark. Um, so I missed most of the seminar. Um, how much additional cost is there to enable text to give on our donor box account? So uh, Mark, depending on your plan, um, it, you could do the basic plan for $19 a month or the short code plan for $50 a month. Um, so it's up to you if you want those custom keywords um, or if your needs are very basic. So um, really, really cost effective. And there are no um, contracts, so you can sign up month to month. Um, if you wish. Thanks, Mark. Um, awesome. I think that we got most of these. Um, you guys, uh, we do have a few more minutes. Um, oh, here we go. From Melanie, if you sign up on the 20th and use a campaign and then cancel on the 30th, what happens to the donations placed on those 10 days? Or how does that work if the plan is canceled? Um, if you're talking about recurring plans, they will stay active. So when you disable text to give add-on, it simply means that if a supporter try to send a text to our text to give number with your campaign ID or custom keyword, it, they will not get a response. Well, they will get a response back, but saying that this organization does not have text to give enabled. But any donations or recurring plans that has been created during your text to give period, they will still remain active. Thank you for that. All right, any any more questions? We do have a couple more minutes. Um, and um, I know some of you are logging out, so I wanna take this opportunity to say thank you uh, for being here today. And um, thank you for all that you do to serve others. We are always humbled and inspired by the work that um, these organizations are doing and grateful to um, have you with us today. Um, and to confirm, if you have any questions about text to give um, you can email us at support at donorbox.org. Um, and Jimmy, um, you can reach out to Jimmy at Jimmy at donorbox.org, um, especially if you're in the UK and want, want to participate in that text to give beta. Um, and uh, let's see. Oh, we've got one more just in the nick of time, Rick. Um, I may have missed your answer. Um, if you work on behalf of charitable organizations, do you need the routing number or account number for each organization? Um, 
Rick, do you mean do you mean setting up uh, payment methods? Rick, we might be able to support you more with a more wholesome answer. If you uh, actually email us at support at donorbox.org and we can make sure that you're set up exactly the way that you need to be set up. Um, don't worry, we have got you covered. Our support team is the best of the best. So, um, all right, I think we are at the top of the hour, everyone. Um, thank you so much for being with us today. Again, I encourage you to check out text to give um, uh, very cost effective, no contracts here. There's really nothing to lose. Um, you will be redirected to our text to give landing page once we end the session. But again, on behalf of everyone here at DonorBox, we want to thank you for the good work that you're doing, the work that you're doing to serve others in your community. Um, and we're so proud to provide the tools and resources you need to help you help others. So thanks everyone. Thank you guys.